Welcome to the Matt Wilkie Podcast. So how do you find a good husband? Um, this was an interesting question. Somebody sent me to, uh, well, a few days ago, so I apologise for a late reply. I'll be honest with you, finding a good husband is probably much harder for the women than it is for guys to find partners themselves uh, in the Philippines, purely because a lot of the guys um, can be a bit different. Um, Do I mean that in a negative way or a good way? I think that's the problem. It's a mix of everything. Um, You've got a lot of guys with mental health issues. You've got a lot of guys with um, alcohol addiction. A lot of guys with problems that they brought from the West relating to divorces and stuff. So between all that side, you've then got people that travel for a bit of adventure and doing something new. You've got people that are looking for a new way of life. You've got people that fell in love with the country and moved there. You've got people that find Asian women attractive over Western women. You've got guys looking for traditional marriages. You've got guys that are looking for a family life and want a real family and not superficial and consumerist. So, as you can probably hear, it's not as simple as getting a catalogue out and finding a husband. But it's also deciding what you want in a relationship, because I find that too many women are too quick to follow some of the guys. Um, But I also think a lot of the good women um, don't look hard enough, in the sense that they don't put themselves out there to look for a husband. But... It's all it's all dependent on the person and the people involved. I know myself, uh, mine was quite a random meeting of my wife because a friend of mine was actually on a dating site. Um, and I was just happened to be at his house for the weekend because I'd driven down and we just sat having a beer on a Saturday afternoon. And he said, could you have a look at my profile? Because he was sort of complaining. He'd spent two months on the website, I think it was. Um, and he'd spent, what, 15, 20 pounds a month or whatever, and he hadn't had any interest. And the first thing I noticed is his name on the uh, website was Good Size. And I'm like, well, you can't have that. That doesn't really draw the right type of woman. So then, <laughs> then I started looking through his entire profile, rewriting it, and one of the images that came around was actually my now wife, April. Um, but the, the whole point was... Did we rush into it? Did I fly over to the Philippines the next day? Did I... The answer is, it took nine months before I went to the Philippines. Because the main thing is communicating. And this is one of the other key elements. Is people need to communicate more. Spend more time talking and discussing things and understanding the other person. Um, seeing that the photo they put on their profile was when they were 25 and they're now 47. <laughs> These little things... Um, which can influence the entire relationship. Um, you need to see what your your partner can offer. Are you looking at a relationship that is going to see you stay in the Philippines or are you going to be looking to go abroad? Because if your partner is retiring, it's very likely they're looking to stay in the Philippines. And that may already be a stumbling point um, that may actually get you to say, no, I'm not interested. Because this is the thing. You, You need to sit there and go, right, do you want children? Does he want children? Do you want a house? Are you going to live, stay with your parents or whatever and live in the, the, uh, Family compound, or are you going to branch out? Is your husband going to expect you to move away from your family area? Stuff that you won't be happy about. And this is why, before you commit to anything, you sit there and discuss all this stuff. And yes, you'll find maybe 70% of people are unsuitable, and only 10% you find attractive or whatever. But that's part of life. Meeting a soulmate, or meeting somebody halfway near doesn't take five minutes. It takes a lifetime sometimes. 
So the key element to this is actually making yourself aware, um, available, but also being quite fussy um, because you know what you want, but also you need to make them aware exactly what you're expecting and will offer them in the relationship. Um, it may sound quite like putting a shopping list together, but it's not. It's because a lot of the time the physical contact until you actually meet each other is very low. So you need to put a lot of information together about each other so that you can sit there and go, okay, well, we may be sitting here on Skype for the next three months, but at least we can sit here and actually discuss things and be constructive um, if this will work or not. In the same way, if you're a jealous person, you might struggle. In the same way, if you find somebody that plays on being jealous or is jealous, this can be a problem because initially most of these relationships begin with long distance um, and most of them will fail quite quickly if there's a jealousy issue. Also, are you serious about the relationship? Because if you're if you're not, then you're wasting your time. It's, it's like window shopping. Um, because the amount of women I know that actually are looking for a husband but still have a boyfriend, um, it doesn't show you that you're committed and ready to make the change. You're, you're quite happy to continue with your boyfriend until something better comes along, which A, isn't fair on your boyfriend, but also a quick look on Facebook or talking to your neighbours or friends people become aware that you had a boyfriend or have one. These are the things you've got to think about. That's why I say you need to sit there and think, what do you want? And then when you start discussing things with a partner, the, the, you meet online or whatever, a person you meet, um, you can sit there and go, well, ideally I would like this, ideally I would like that, blah, 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 and get them to feedback. Because it, it's all about the communication. Because if you have the communication early on, Life is so much easier and better for everybody. Because it means that you've found the right partners. And it's not like um, you're dictating terms. It's simply showing that these are the things you want in life. Um, and in the same way, the guy will do exactly the same. Or should do. Because that way it helps both of you. Hope that helps, but... Are the dating sites useful? I would say the problem you've got with dating sites is there's so many scammers and everything else on there. Um, you're probably better off meeting expats or foreign husbands via other foreigners. Um, so if you've got a friend who's a friend or a member of family that's already married to a foreigner, they can probably introduce you to other foreigners. Um that's probably the better route because it's very likely that your friend or member of family will look out for you and because the expat that they're married to is concerned about your safety and well-being, they will also be very fussy on the guys they introduce you to um, because obviously they don't want to be nagged by their wife or whatever for introducing them to somebody that is not marriage material. Thanks for listening.